Hey guys, I this is the first time I'm testing this, so let's see how this goes. I'm actually trying to see if I'm live or not off my page. Okay, give me just bear with me one second. This is the first time I'm doing this off my Okay, let me know if you guys can see this. Okay. All right, so what I wanted to show you guys is how to underwrite a real estate deal that um so that you can kind of reverse engineer what you want to offer, right? So, um, one of the first things that we're starting off with is the uh, property. So let me just write that down. So, okay, then um, I want to purchase this as a rental right it's, it's not a it's not ideal for a fix and flip so I'm gonna start with um, a rental number that I know for sure I can get and that means that I'm gonna start with uh, fair market rent which is HUD section 8 so I know that hey if I were to put a tenant in here that is qualified for uh, section 8 housing or HUD housing I can get X amount of dollars. Now this specific property, it's a three bedroom. So it's a three bed, one bath, okay? And it brings in, it can bring in $2,353 per month, okay? So what we wanna do is we want to um, put down the known components. So known facts. Okay, so what do we know about this property? Well, we know that the taxes for the year are two, three, one, seven per year. But I like to do it in months because it helps me break it down uh, and properly calculate it out. So 2317 divided by 12, so that's $193 and eight cents per month okay um, let's see if there's any HOA fees no HOA fees okay that's fine then uh, insurance this is probably gonna run me about a hundred and twenty dollars per month so it's uh, one four four zero per year a hundred twenty dollars per month okay so these are known facts the other known fact is that I personally want to make a certain amount of money as my cash flow okay now it can vary and it can be different for everybody else you have to determine what works for you so for me uh, so we'll put CF cash flow I want to at least make three hundred dollars Per month that's my minimum okay per door so per month okay so now we're gonna add these up because these are our known costs okay so the total is two three one seven or I'm sorry we're gonna do the monthly so we got one nine three point zero eight plus 120 plus 300 okay so we know our monthly non-negotiables, known facts, right? Is $613.08. Now, making this very simple, you know, you can factor in vacancy, uh, capital expenditures. So you can factor those in. Um, typically, they're about 5% of the gross rent, okay? 
Um, now we know that, uh, that we can collect a monthly rent of two thousand three hundred fifty three dollars. So let's see what that leaves us with. Because now what we haven't factored in is a, a a loan, a mortgage. So before we do further calculation, here is what my lender gives me. So these are my lender known facts. Now yours could be different. Uh, and that's perfectly fine, but this is just what I have. So my rate is at 7.5%. And if, listen, if you guys have it better, then please let me know because I have no problem with working with other people. Okay, term, 360 months. So that's essentially 30 year mortgage. Okay. Okay, the purchase price on this property right now is... Uh, put that up here so purchase price is 249 thousand dollars got it okay so now this purchase price when I get a mortgage I'm gonna pay principal principal and interest I've already calculated my taxes and my insurance. So if you combine the four, that's what your PITI or P-I-T-I -I is. Principal, interest, taxes, insurance. Those are your four, okay? So now the most I can pay for principal and interest is the following. Okay, so we're going to take two, five, was it two five? No, it was two three five three. That's this is the most rent I can collect. Two three five three. And our known, which is our non negotiable, right? We can't change the taxes, we can't change the insurance. Yes, you can shop and get better rates. That's all well and good. Taxes, yes, you can technically fight those, hire an attorney and fight for the taxes, but that is uh, your choice. I'm not going down that pathway. I'm just going to take it for what it is, okay? So we're going to subtract $613.08. So that leaves me with 2353 minus $613.08. So that is $2,353. Okay. This is what I can pay per month in my principal and interest. Make sense? <clears throat> so now what we have to do is we have to do um, in order to arrive at the purchase price, I like to use a calculator, uh, an amortization calculator. It's, it's called the 10 BII calculator. So I'm going to show it to you. Give me one second. Uh, I'm going to show you that. Okay. Bear with me one second. Okay. Let me clear. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so this is the calculator. So we know, okay, that the most we can afford uh, per month, let me see if I can do a side by side. I don't want to do side by side because it'll get crazy. We know the most we can pay per month is 1739. Point nine two, and that's our payment. That's the most we can pay for our principal and interest per month. Okay. Now we also know that my lender is going to give me a seven point seven five interest rate over three hundred sixty month term. So now if I click on PV, it's going to spit out what I must offer for this property to make sure that it fits into the criteria. Okay. So the most I can pay for this property is $242,865.75. So now based off what it's listed at, this looks like a good deal because we're not too far off of making the numbers work. So now I'm going to present an offer at that amount because I know I reverse engineered my numbers to ensure 
that my underwriting is solid, right? So we already went through that process, right? This is how you uh, evaluate and underwrite deals to see if they're going to fit your buy bucket. It's, it's not complicated. This, this removes the guesswork in what do I offer? This is how you underwrite and look at deals. Well, you're going to probably think, well, I don't know what my lender will ask. Well, how about you get those ducks in order before you start looking at deals? Like, see, so you, everybody wants a deal, but they don't want to take care of the work around it that's required to, posi to position yourself to buy the deal. So again, um, I hope this helps. Um, let me know if there's other videos or other things that you want to learn that will be helpful to you.